Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. Today, we are going to look at other rate of configuration properties. This annotation allows you to map an entire property file to a Java object. Let us see how it works using an example. In our previous example, we saw how to use other rate of value to load an individual property. But in this example, we are going to see how to load an entire property into a Java object. For this example, what I have here is, I have created a property Java file that has two variables in it. Number of students and school name. Number of students and school name are the actual properties that will be stored in the application.yaml file. And Spring is going to load these two property keys as a property Java object and it is going to give it to us as a component. So I have annotated this particular class as a component so that Spring recognizes this property and loads the bean in the application context. And the other eight of configuration properties is used to indicate the Spring that this particular file is going to be is going to serve uh, uh, as a Java object for a property file. For this, I have created a configuration properties controller. This controller is going to serve as a risk controller with a request mapping conf property. You could see here I have autoed the property class here. I have a get mapping method here, and inside this get mapping method, I'm just going to get the property dot get the number of students and get the school name and return this into a return this as a list when this particular get URL is accessed. Now let us go and take a look at the application.yaml to see how the property key is defined there. The property key is defined as number of students, the same name as that of the uh, Java objects attributes. And there's one more thing that you have to do. Uh, let's go to the pom.xml. Inside the pom.xml, uh, you could see there is a new dependency adder that is Spring Boot Configuration Proper, Spring Boot Configuration Processor. This is not a mandatory dependency, but if you don't add this, it will end up showing in the warning and it will be picked up by the you know, other reports like Sonar, Black Deck, all this thing. So it is advisable to add this dependency into your pom.xml. If you don't add it, still the application will work, but you will end up seeing all these warnings. So it's a good practice to add this. Now let us go and run this application and see what is the output that we get when we access the get URL? Okay, the application has started in port 9001. And I'm going to access the conf property URI here. So when I access this conf property URI here, you could see here the value 10 and high school from the application.yaml is returned to us successfully. So this is one way of loading your properties into a Java object. But this is very simple. What if we want to have a complex property file structure and load it into a Java object? Let us see how it can be done in our next video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more such videos.